where you're no longer walked, but you fit tightly. You fit right. You fit so there's no leak. So please don't listen to the rain because you heard a leak. <laughs> you fit that way. Because God just don't want us healed. He wants us whole. And when the leper came back, and Jesus said, okay, your faith has made you whole. You're going to be able to transition back into society and not have issues. You're going to be able to go back into the midst of the people and not be angry and upset and remember the person who called you a name because you were a leper. You'll be able to deal with that person because you're whole now. Just because you receive your healing does not mean you still know how to deal with certain people until God makes you whole. Why is this message so important during this time of leading us into Pentecost? Because it is the Holy Spirit that comes to make us whole. The fire of what you've been through warped you. But the fire of the Holy Ghost will make you whole again. It took fire to get you out of shape. It's going to take fire to put you back in shape. It took fire to make you suspicious and now you're not trusted and you're not moving as fast as you would have before. It's going to take fire to get behind you, to cause you to move the way you need to move and cause you to do what you need to do. It was the fire that stopped you, but when God gets through making you whole and the Holy Ghost falls on you, it'll be the fire that calls you to move in the right direction. It'll be the fire that completely you home. So we are a little warped, but we need to be whole. Let me define whole for you. Whole means to be free of wound or injury, to recover from a wound or injury, to be free of defects or impairments, physically sound and healthy, Free of disease or deformity, mentally or emotionally sound, having all its proper parts or components complete, unmodified. That's what whole means. Whole means that what has been taken out of you because of what you've been through, God wants to put back in you to make you complete. Again. Whole means that now you're not as enthusiastic to move into certain areas. God wants to restore the enthusiasm. Whole means that He wants to remove all deformities and wants to get you back into the place you were before you went through your tribulation or your trial. You see, trials do come to build our character, but it does not come to stop us from being who we are. That's right. But a lot of us have been through some things, and we, I've heard people say, I don't know who I am anymore. Because of the tribulation and the heartaches and the pains that you've been through. And God said, I want to come and give you your identity back again. I got you healed. I got you over what you've been through. You don't hold that against them anymore. You, you're able to walk a little bit more. You're freer now. But I need to get you back to the point where you know who you are. You're confident about who you are. You walk with your head up high. You don't walk with your head down. You can be healed, but still got be whole and walking with your head.
that. They would know how to deal with the issues that they were having to face. They thought all they need was healing. We get healed of leprosy, we're fine. But just because you get healed, don't mean that everything's going to be all right. Because once you get healed, you get to find out there's some other issues that you didn't know about. Your emotions have been racked. Yeah. Your mentality has been shaken. And now you're healed and you're trying to do, trying to do some things and you can't do it the way you used to. Just like the surgery. I told you once you have surgery and you think you're all healed and you think everything's okay and you get out there and try to do something that you thought you could do before and you hear that, I can't do that right now. Mm -hmm. That kind of hurt. I used to be able to jump that shot. I can't do that right now. Mm -hmm. Because you're not completely whole yet. You're healed, but everything hasn't been put back together. You got to go through spiritual, physical therapy. God got to teach you how to do it all over again. When you've been through a hardship or a pain, when you've been through an accident, they sometimes got to teach you how to walk again, how to use your limbs again. You ever had a stroke or anything, and then it didn't have the use of one of your limbs. They had to teach you how to do it all over again. Some of us have been through some things in life, and we have stopped doing some things, and God said, I got to teach you all over again how to do it again. I got to take you through spiritual therapy, because I want to make you whole again. Good. Good. My God. And what a better place to have you be whole again. A place where you can be around brothers and sisters that even if you fall trying to walk again, they won't laugh. They'll just keep, pick you up on the side and say, try it again. Go ahead and try it again. We know you can do it. What a better place to learn how to do it again. But a monk say that when they see you go down and you want a little pride to get up by yourself, they say, don't have no pride. Let me help you up. You won't do it. You won't make it. You won't walk again. Because life takes some things out of us sometimes that we don't even realize that it took out of us until we try to do what we used to do and we can't do it. Uh -huh. You try to love again and try to figure out why I can't love the way I used to. You try to trust again and you can't figure out why you can't trust the way you used to. It's not a healing you need, it's a wholeness you need. God needs to take you through spiritual therapy to teach you how to love again. To teach you how to trust again. Uh -huh. How does God do that? He does it with the power of the Holy Ghost. He puts you in a place that even though you're not secure about what you're doing, He surrounds you with love. That's your support system. When He's trying to teach you how to love, He puts you around love. When He's trying to teach you how to trust, He puts you around trust. It's your support system that even if you fail or you fall because you're not living right or you're not trusting right, all the trust around you and all the love Put you in a place That's good, really. that he'll show you what real love, mm -hmm. real trust, real emotional stability, real brothers and sisters are all about. Because yes, can I tell you something? On your way to wholeness, you will fall. Mm -hmm. On your way to wholeness, you're not just going to get up and walk all by yourself, just all of a sudden. It's going to be a slow process. Yes, you're going to fall. Yes, it's going to hurt. But he puts you in a support system that will keep you. Mm -hmm. Because he can't put you in some place that's not going to help you. Because you'll never get back to the place that you need to be at. Mm -hmm. So for many of us, for these seven months, he sent you to LLWC. He sent you because he needed to see you do spiritual therapy. Mm. He sent you because he needed to build you back up. He sent you because he needed to get your confidence back to the level of, yes, I do believe mm -hmm. I can work again. I do believe I can be in a relationship again. I do believe I can serve God with my whole heart. I do believe I can be in the atmosphere where people love me and I love them and all that I'm going through. And I may not even tell them, they'll still pray for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. They'll set my pain. Because the Bible says when one brother or sister hurt, the whole body hurts. And he wants to put you in the atmosphere where you can get back to the level. It's like the prodigal son. Mm. 
See, the prodigal son that saw his brother first, he would be messed up. Because his brother had no compassion for him. His brother thought he should be a servant. Because you done left and I had to stay here with daddy. And I had to do all this work with daddy. And you done left and took half of your, and took your inheritance and just spent it. And I'm still here with him. Got to do all this. But he didn't see his brother. He didn't see all the rest of them. When he came down the road, he met his daddy. Mm. And his daddy said, don't worry about it, son. He came to him and said, daddy, just make me a servant. Dad said, you're not a servant. Took his ring off and put the ring on. Put new clothes on. Told his servants, let's throw a party. Because my son who was dead. His physical therapy, that pie. And his brother got jealous and upset. Why are you doing all this for him? Well, he left us to handle all this. You have to let him know my son was dead, but now he's alive. And I'm celebrating that my son is back. And although you were left here, anything you wanted, you could have had. All you had to do was ask. See, God doesn't send us sometimes to our brothers and sisters to help us in times of difficulty because sometimes they won't understand. But God said, I have to handle this myself. I got to come to your rescue myself. I got to make you whole myself and put you back on the right road to recover. So this has been seven months of physical therapy, of getting us back to the point where we even dare to work again, mm -hmm. even dare to be able to say, I can do that for God. I can do that. I can do this. Because the enemy has been playing with your emotions and telling you, you're not worthy. You messed up too much. You've been through too much. You know how the world will say, you damaged goods. Uh -huh. But the thing I love about God is he wants all the damaged goods. Mm -hmm. Because he knows how to restore yeah. you back to health again. The Bible declares when he talked to the Pharisees, I didn't come for those who are whole. Those who are whole don't need a physician. I came for those who are jacked up, messed up for the floor. I came to help them to let them know they still can be somebody. Good. Life has the ability, after we've gone through, to kick us to the side. God said, go ahead, kick them to the side. I'm standing on the side waiting for them. I want to build them back up. Mm -hmm. I want to make them whole. 